Melissa McDevitt was last seen on December 9, 2002 at 1.58 p.m. She was out for a hike, which she did often. This day she decided to visit the Sea to Sky Regional Park in Sook, BC. It was the second largest regional park in the Capital Regional District. It spans more than 9,800 acres and has 57 kilometers of trails. Melissa had spent quite a bit of time hiking in Sook and she is considered an avid hiker, although not a survivalist, according to her father Tom. Melissa had a passion for the wilderness and she posted many outdoor pictures on her Instagram account called Mindful of Melissa. One of her favorite quotes is, beauty always presents itself if one just takes time to stop. Another day she writes, on this day I found a lovely stretch of wildflowers in a very busy area and when I crouched among the flora a whole new world opened up before my eyes. Clearly she had a beautiful soul. Melissa graduated with a degree in anthropology. She worked seasonal jobs for the US government in Forest Service and National Park Service. Although Melissa is neurodivergent, she proved to be quite capable with maneuvering her way through life, sometimes with a little struggle in keeping it organized but she did good. Security camera footage captured Melissa walking towards the park. She wore a maroon jacket, dark pants, and an olive knit hat, and she clutched chrome hiking poles. The footage is all searchers have to go on. Cell phone service is unreliable at best. She wore a Garmin watch that stored information, but she had it turned off. Melissa's car was located in the parking lot near the Jack Brooks fish hatchery. She left her heavy coat, bear spray, a mylar blanket, a vest with water, and crampons in her car. It could be possible that she injured herself in a fall. She had stamina but lacked muscle strength and coordination. She was born with an extra chromosome that affected her growth. She had the muscle tone of a child as well as child-sized feet. According to her loved ones, she easily lost her balance on uneven ground. Despite the efforts of 80 searches and 11 search and rescue agencies, nothing of significance was located. The police reviewed some of the tracking information from her previous treks into the park thanks to the detailed GPS tracking information from her Garmin watch, which proved that that Melissa was a cautious hiker that stayed on the main pathways. Her mother Maggie said that Melissa is a very kind woman with an engaging and sweet smile. She went on to say that the joy has not returned to their lives since she vanished and the family is struggling and they are very grateful for the help and commitment to the search and rescue people. Melissa has alopecia which means that her hair has fallen out and she may be wearing a wig or have short dyed hair or rainbow colored hair. Melissa was 38 years old at the time of her disappearance. She is 5 feet tall and weighs 105 pounds. She was wearing a burgundy sweater, blue pants and carrying hiking poles. If you have any information as to her whereabouts, please contact the Nanaimo RCMP at 250-380-6110, file number 2022-5189 or call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 if you wish to remain anonymous.